Right, look at that. Completely clear for the taking. Opportunists work inwards. Now no one likes... Spike is the last man in, so it takes a little bit of time, but they get there in the end. No, no one likes A anymore. No. Nobody's playing on the sites anymore. It's always long A or Fun all play. the way back. Oh my gosh, the full-on flank. Yep, four members of Fun Plus Phoenix trying to challenge. It's good trade frags back and forth as always. Takas, however, he goes down to zipping. We're into the one versus two. So the only player to have come from heaven in meadow is shut down. Hoppy with that final. They decide to go sprinting into the A site. Roden on the front line. That jet dash is canceled out by Xiao, but Takas, he lines up two players, and then Akuma gets himself a single. So good thing Sova was there to cover the first player as Breach was priming his charges. And Angel just chipping away at the heels of the fallback. Check out the HP for three of the players from Opportunists. It's so low that a little part of you should think this is still winnable, albeit unlikely. You've got two players for Opportunists over on Long, and the Nano Swarm on Spike means that Angel's gonna have to walk forward here. He's gonna need to make that contact. Look, he even scares Takis into the open. Now Angel, he's trying to give that cover, but low. Blade Storm popped. That's gonna be for Rodin to hold down this post plant. He's gonna get aggressive moves in and can't manage the follow up. Only the first kill from him. Akuma's got the flash primed. Of course, at any point, Hoppy could just go swinging outwards here, but there it is. The attackers locked down, coming in. Suddenly, FPS, they need to get this going. They need to get the ball rolling, but everybody holding back. They've gone ahead and interrupted it. Now there's gonna be that neural theft in the middle of it all, and the last enemy's revealed, but he's not taken down right away, and because of it, time is the issue. They have to go. Oh my gosh, how no base has been created. Spike will get planted. Everybody will be alert. Planted. The party's on C. Now, do they use ultimates to try and make this retake happen? There's always an effort. Or at yeah. least there has been. Got breach in position. Yeah, Logan's still back where he buys guns. But he's not going to find any contact. Cypher heads elsewhere. That's Meadow looking to join his teammates as they come in from Garage. That's huh. an easy pickup on Rodin. Rolling Thunder in two directions, plus the showstopper downtown. Hoppy's dead. To right, Akuma, he wants to peek this, but so many players giving cover to the defuse. Xiao's going to slip this through. Covered in paint and after... Four of which, to be specific. And Xiao, well, he starts to get a little bit aggressive. Pushes forward, is met by the cyber cage, and Meadow and Zip Zipan, that's the two kills. It's Angel now to try and go one better. We've got the showstopper coming in from Zipan, and Hoppy in the corner, looking to close, just cannot do it all. Three frags for him. Flank into what is all five members of Opportunist, but hey, that Guardian finding a headshot is huge. Poor Rodin, he just wants to plant a damn spike. And he gets forced off of it this time yet again. Then Zippin peeks into it with a single kill. But there's movement all over. Angel's doubling back from C long. We've got the spike with all of its teammates moving into A. And that's exactly where the majority of FPX remain. Yeah. Comfortable and in position. Fast. They got here quick, man. Might be a little bit scary here for the opportunists thinking, hey, I thought this is our site until the spike gets planted. Left. And they run it back from the sewers on to long. But look how comfy our Sova is getting. Xiao now pushing over in towards short and he'll spot the solo push. That's everything. You know, if he sits back on spike uh, site, then maybe he gets split. Now he can just try and deny this spike plant. Rodin with a little bit of time left actually gets Baby. this one in. So, okay. A silver lining for the offense, but regardless, a fifth round on the board for FPX. This game's all tied up. Almost every post plant situation, and sometimes the early round is falling apart too. So they're walking out towards A again. This time, Angel will take the initial duel, and Zippin will trade and fall back as well. Yep, that's the engagement that really favors FPX. He gets away with his life, and a lot of it. Shadow goes for the blind, sees all the information he needs, looks to concuss them, soften them up before they come in with any kind of a commitment, but they hold for now. And look at this run. flank. Zippin, he could go all the way, 
Ooh, interesting use of the lockdown. And Zimbit, he's oh not going to wait for anybody. Runs right into it, and they've got just a few seconds left where they need to respect this alt. It pops, and from the shadows, Hoppy's going to move all the way over to the C site. Caught out by the spy cam, he extracts the dart, and he anticipates the peak from CT, but there is already the walkout. A man breathing down his neck in Meadow is going to close the... ...out a team that has figured them out. What's their adaptability in the final moment of the first half? They join forces in the C split. The entirety of opportunists now in position. Of course, that rolling thunder could be huge. It starts to slow things down, but Shao, he cranks the dial. Three kills for him. Angel and Shadow get this one done. The best team on Earth. Number one. Quick clash coming out of Hoppy. I love this. Right into the second half with a little tenacity. But it comes at a cost. FPX now on the forefront. Where do they go? They hold in mid. As quickly as opportunists attack them, they all disappeared. One HP for Shadow. My goodness. He plays... Mm. Well, it's an interesting spot, but this double flank that's coming in might make it a lot less interesting. They're really eyes forward on the B side. I don't think they plan to check their flanks at the moment. So that's a free B on Shadow. A headshot on a 1 HP player. A little bit of overkill. Shao, will he experience the same fate? That's the big question. I mean, him getting spotted is the most unnerving part of it all. However, he answers back with one. That's a second headshot. Now we're in business. Look for three. Can he grab it? He can. Never he can grab it with half. Yeah. Put him somewhere in the middle. You'll get what you need. The Ego Waffle crosshair. <laughs> Angel putting holes through Logan like an Ego. And Akuma just trying to play the side of the smoke. Does get one in Zippin, but a very quick trade thanks to Meadow. So man advantage, but Xiao. Well, he's also joined his teammates from around the corners of Long. Takis. Potentially to come in from Garage, waiting for his two teammates to both get into position before they try and split into this C site. Takis sends the dart out. Oh, double kill on the backside of the site and that final nail in the coffin. A breach all to clear things out. It's going to be a hard site to hold, but I mean, at least fortunately here for Opportunists, oh, there's not many here. Oh, but that's oh. one way to get in the middle of things. Player in the background gets absolutely smoked. Akuma doesn't even need to see him, but he does die out to Shadow. This is a little, a little chance, a little spice of life from the Opportunists. Akuma showing us what he can do if given the chance. That's sick, man. Did we have alts? We had one yeah, alt go off, right? So it's still it's scary because we've only had we only had shadows alt go off this round, yeah. I think. You are correct. So it's still scary because we're still looking at constantly teleports into it. And he's got players all around him. In fact, right behind him is Hoppy. So Omen v Omen opportunists out on top. And Takis potentially to take over Garage. Interesting. They sit back, Fun Plus Phoenix. Mr. Sova has moved in Takis, where, like, okay, it looks like they want to try to fight. They're scared of this kind of Garage hit. They don't want to give it up, but Shao, he peeks anyways. And it looks like they could continue on into this B hit. <gasps> Ooh, but Hoppy, he's able to get himself a second kill this round before being this. cobbled by Shao, exactly who's right. also sitting on two. The neural theft goes down. That is total. Absolute information. Breach flash, perfect. But the trades are even better. We've got the 1v1 between Xiao and Akuma for a potential 12th on FPX. 30 seconds left. Okay. Well, Akuma, he's got a lot left. Xiao, he can play from anywhere with his ult, but he's also, he can put this tag out if he wants to. It'll be a dry duel. Akuma will win it straight on. Fantastic couple of rounds from him. Nice play from Akuma. Goes for the fault line. What's the move? They have never even tested all this Killjoy utility on the A site. Oy, oh my goodness. Raider in position. Roden almost dot so dashing to the wall. That could have hurt. Aldrone gets shut down. 
Now they're going to have eyes on that jet as they see her retreat, but she's not the only one in position. In fact, a good amount of the defense here to hold. Takis with a kill already. Rodin still scope up. Shadow's flash will push her back, but is it enough? There's a lockdown, of course, for the retake if needed. Yeah, this is this round should be over whether they know it or not. Oh, and especially with that Worthless. one, Logan just sitting down inside of hell. He has nowhere to go. So easy pick up from Shadow. And suddenly that ultimate that we were talking about for the post plant is now off the table. 30 seconds. Kuma's left. got his as well. A rolling thunder for Shadow could be huge. And there it is. Sends it out. But that long play, that flank, oh, oh, Shadow, a third kill for him. He is going absolutely ham. Four kills and only one left for that 12th one round to be. Econ drone feels like FPX. They tasted blood on this A site and they're coming back in for second servings. Immediate entries puts a world of hurt onto the opportunists yet again. Logan not able to drop that lockdown, but Rodin will come flying in with one. They're outnumbered two to one. And this is not an easy retake, not by any stretch of the imagination. Akuma, he gets hit by that dart. Location revealed over and over. The showstoppers pulled out by Zippin, but not fired. And that's unfortunate. Walks through the omen smoke. Oh. No. Ow. Definitely a lot of conjecture on our end just to try to guess as to what uh, is going to come out. But, um... Interesting to see that he he still hasn't made a decision uh, with how he wants to use it just yet. Okay. Now some of the utility starts to get drawn. Move over into a heavy, long B lean, and Logan will be the first point of contact. 30 seconds left. And there goes up the screen. Going to kind of cut off the back of the site somewhat, slightly. Nano swarm. All over the place. Still so delayed, 15 seconds left over. They need to clear out Logan, but he's got the helping hands of Hoppy. And so far, so good. Angel will get some kind Ten of success. Left. Eight seconds. They're going to need the spike plant and the kills that come with it. Zipping all that they have to offer, and he has no time at this point. He needs to stay alive, and he's fighting for his life. It seems like he'll get through here. There's in position. Yup. Zippin's able to dodge the concussive damage. Shao opens up shop. It is Logan to go down first. That leaves two members still in position. Rodin tucked on elbow. Rolling thunder. Denies the run it back, but Rodin runs it in and dies. As does his teammate. A clean sweep of everyone other than Hoppy. He answers back with two, but he gets softened through the Viper smoke and the Sheriff. HP very quickly. He does have a lockdown, as does FPX. Alongside a Viper's pit. Man, I would love to see a Viper ult at some point in this map. We've got the showstopper whipped out. Zippin's going to try and clear flank with it. Oh, you poor soul. Absolutely robbed <laughs> by the headshot after the explosion. And it's a man advantage. Here it comes, though. That's going to be the attacker's killjoy and the Viper Pit. And Angel, he's within it. A player right on the other side means he goes down. And just as quickly as the smoke comes up, it all falls down. One player detained. Going to have to chill out and wait. But that spike One waits for no eye. man, and neither does Shadow. That long lurk around from the defender's spawn makes the absolute difference. And Logan fighting for his life. Say goodnight as FPX tie three. Hold up. That's right, you're a Reina main now. <laughs> 14 insta locks later. Meadow ooh, gets absolutely wrecked by Hoppy. Listen up, kids. There's a couple sheriffs in town on this round, and opportunists should not be able to exploit them for the win, but they have a four versus three. Rodin's hanging on to a phantom. I have that is still his other three teammates, all with pistols, but this pistols can prevail. They're, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, it's not a great spot, but because they have Phoenix's ult, I mean, they can get so much information for free. Uh, they can use him to clear out lamps, potentially even get the kill with his ult if he's careful enough. 
And it looks like right now he's moving up just with his utility, not even thinking about it. Oh my god, the nearsightedness is just fine for him. He can see Monocle or not. And now the other players are in rotational spots. They are with outside of the site. And Chow with lamps means they could potentially put the spike down. Getting closer and closer. Angel, Angel runs out of Toxin. Not going to be a problem. He does find Akuma close on site and clears the player out from heaven. Boombot on the flank. Poor Logan. No longer having the element of surprise. Damn, they actually don't even use the Phoenix ult. I mean, they could have there. Could have. And a late screen as well to watch it. Again, these screens and the flame balls, they pair nicely with Sova, Sova's darts to go over the back of them. And, oh, Logan, nice try, but nothing. There has to be somebody in one of these positions. And, of course, there is. They've now found him. But we're going to get a big cluster of defenders trying to hang on to this hold. Oh, man, curveballing his own teammate. Not a pretty sight, but opportunist using Hoppy to get deep into the showers. That actually nets them something. We're on a 2v2. Shao refuses to use this ultimate. He wants to just hold it over their heads. He's like telling them we can win no matter what, but he still has this option in his back pocket to seek out information as he wants to. But here, oh my goodness, Angel, when do you ever see that? Wow. That was labored. 10 bullets missed. Happy, Hoppy, excuse me, could not capitalize. Oh my god, he's actually able to get through the snake bites, almost finding up a site. Shao just got confirmed info on two, that's why the showstopper gets whipped out. But the rocket fuse halfway gone, gonna have to shoot it in desperation. Paint shells will keep a player from peeking on heaven. And Hoppy, he's gonna go for that deep TP, but it gets called out. And he gets it off before dying. Unfortunate. Not even denied, but dead. And a corner unchecked. Oh, we get Gives Zippin a chance to deliver another kill before, of course, he falls. It's low HP for two of the three, one of which now down. And that does not bode well for the opportunists. They know exactly where Logan's at. Angel topples him, and a four-round lead ensues. I'm sure they were kind of... Just in case there was a player pushing short A, but that is not the case. Everything that FPX has to offer it is charging towards this B site. There are three defenders in position. Akuma already with the flashes out. Deep utility coming in from Angel. Grenades making things uncomfortable. And now the Hunter's Fury is whipped out. Takis trying to interrupt the execute. Kind of doesn't get much for his money. Welcome to my world. And we've got the pit up from Angel. He, of course, he throws that down towards Garden, so it will make it to the spike. But it's going to be a difficult spot if the retake even had a chance to get into this. Takis will take him down. And Angel now on Actually, the other side of the wall. Oh. Takis has to rack his brain. Where has he got off to? Oh, my God. Oh, but he gets him with the spray. It's a little labored, but hell, it's a clutch. Here. But it's, it's more of a known quantity, what we might expect from a Viper in this half. Yeah. Snake Bite's going to leave him vulnerable for just the second. Angel just peeks out. Sheriff headshot, not a problem. Hoppy's going to find that spike plant as Rodin goes rampantly into lamps. And that pushes Angel into a hell of an awkward situation. Logan, nice headshot off the Bulldog Shao with an answer. But he's going to need three more kills to make this round happen. And there's one. Well, he's got the molly. That's a heal. He'll get nearly up to 100. And now he goes hunting yet again, held in by that headshot angle. Tough stuff to get by. And Hoppy's going to close this. Six rounds to eight. Still a lead. Logan, eight seconds to clear it. Takis, nice burst fire into the head of Shao. Angel's going to be laying down those snake bites, trying to keep players at bay. The lockdown detains no one. Nothing. 4v4 regardless. Scanning comes to an end. Takis looking to plant that spike. But, you know, this is one of those issues. Is you've got that toxic screen in the face of the garden players. It's going to be really tough for opportunists to hang on to this post plant, perhaps. Maybe Hoppy brings it back. We've signed him with impact in these mid-round moments. 
Owl drone coming out from the defender's spawn. Tack is looking to make the most of it, but Zippin bests him. Angel with a headshot into Logan. And again, this toxic screen the entire time denies vision as the kills come out from FPX. And now everybody switches the Viper on Bind. I mean, that's like, you know it's going to be there, but you could just sit down and... Now, will there be an execution? There's pressure to get on the other side of the wall quickly, right? That's yep. the most annoying part, I think. Now it's back up again. Now they do, but is, is Takas in a good spot is the question. And you see enough. Joke's over. Ooh, You're I dead. like that. Okay. He tries to make the run around from elbow. Curveball dodged by Takas. Paranoia hits the mark. Shao goes in on this. That was the run it back. He has a second chance, but Takas is going to deny him. And Meadows got himself a kill from the comfort of the back site. Shadow with the Hunter's Fury finding one. They've cleared out that deep elbow, or so they may think. Omen is still back left. there, and he alts out. Deep A play instead from the shadows. Oh, nice to have in your back pocket. And he'll be happy to find a vacant A site. Now, it's just about how he wants to try to cut off rotations. Now, is Logan going to put the spike down opposite side is the question. No, he's actually going to put it down on the front, so... Go stopper. Yeah, it goes out. It doesn't hit. planted. It does damage. Down to 25. Logan denied anything further. Sure, they use that Shadow's play to get deep into the heaven. Yes, it gets them out of a precarious position on B. A, the trade game. And they're going to try to into the A site. It's gonna take something special, perhaps. Zippin only able to get the one kill. There it is from Takis. Okay. Two Five phantom planted. headshots. Leaves them in a four Justice versus three, two. Yeah. That walk up onto the A site works out wonderfully. Well, it was the A play that they wanted. They got it. They just couldn't hold. shao has been very good aim-wise uh, from up here. Agreed. Uh, finding the kills. The peaks might be a little bit harder. Full charge tremor. Angel's toxin near non-existent. Shao's fallen out from heaven. Any kill at this point is going to have impact. Again, six map and match points. Angel's running in through lamps. Double headshot <laughs> off the Vandal. Swaps to another one. They're still going to be able to pressure this, but there's just no time. So take all the kills you can. He's actually just deathmatching, looking for his 40th kill. Now Takis will fall back. Kind of aggressive Killjoy alt over on the B site. And there it is, you really run, early. They're gonna try to score a plant off this, but immediately the ult gets called out and canceled by Shadow. Will they know? And now they'll actually turn it back over towards the A site. It's a total bait. Dude, and they're vulnerable. Running through the snake bite leaves you so susceptible to damage. Not to mention, Zippin whips out the showstopper Damn. just in case they want to commit. I want to say this is a beautifully orchestrated round by FPX. I mean, the mind game's both ways. They had that ready. Maybe they knew rotation back would come. Even if they weren't sure of it, they had Viper on A this time. Left. So they fully expected the Killjoy play to come out. Don't know if they knew the fake was coming out. But at this point, I mean, with FPX, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Oh, Zippin, that could be huge. Just going to absolutely wreck what's left of this. One man alone in Hobby has everything.